I have been wearing babies since 2007 and I have tried a lot of different baby carriers. And today I'm going to share with you the three types of baby carriers that are my favorite that I find simplest to use um, that work for a large age range and really just my carriers that I use on a very regular basis. So I'm going to be inserting clips of how I put on the carrier and how I put Betty in the carrier. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about um, how to wear and troubleshooting and all of that. There are so many great resources out there. Uh, I will link a couple in the description box. One of the slings I'm going to show you is a wild bird ring sling and they have great education on wearing ring slings and, and people to help you get the fit correct and everything like that. So today I just want to share with you the carriers that I love and why I love them. And hopefully it will help you if you are looking for the right baby carrier for yourself or for somebody you love. That's the other thing I'm not going to get too far into the benefits of baby wearing uh, and they are multitudinous, <laughs> um, not just having hands free. I mean, that right there is a huge benefit, especially if you have other children, to be able to care, care for your baby and keep them close um, while having your hands free to do other things. But I'm not going to delve into all of that today. I'm just going to share with you the carriers I have sitting in front of me. I have a little pile here, some carriers. Here's another one here. And whatever I can, I will link for you. Probably not specific colors because well, only one of these, you can actually buy this exact carrier still. Um, the rest of them, you can't get these patterns or styles um, or colors anymore. Um, but the brands themselves have other options available. So anyway, I'm going to start with kind of a cult classic, I think, in recent years. Um, so with my second, I had a Moby wrap. And it was a nice stretchy jersey knit um, wrap, but it was a thick, thicker, uh, material and it stretched out pretty easily. And it was still a very comfortable wrap. It was my first foray into stretchy wraps. With my first baby, I had tried the baby Bjorn carrier and I do not recommend that carrier at all. I'm not even sure if they still make it. I'm pretty sure they still do. I'm pretty sure I've still seen them around, but um, it does not provide proper support for baby and it doesn't provide the greatest support for mom or dad or whoever's wearing the baby either as far as back support and all of that. So I don't recommend those. I much prefer um, carriers that allow for the baby to be properly seated with the um, knees higher than bum, all of that important for hip and spine. Um, health for your baby. So anyway, with my first I had, or my second, I'd had one of those other stretchy wraps and I just, I used it and I liked it and it was so much better than what I'd had before. But there were some things about it that I didn't love, like how hot it was and how it seemed to stretch out and sag too much. Um, and I can't remember which baby I first tried this carrier with. I think it must have been Hazel um, that I first tried the Solly baby wrap. Um, this is also a stretchy material, but um, it's not as stretchy as the Moby material, so it doesn't stretch out when baby's in it as much. It's also much more lightweight, and I live in South Carolina. At the time I lived in North Carolina, same difference, it was hot. Um, and baby wearing can be kind of warm, which is nice in cooler weather, but not so nice in warmer weather. Uh, so, a Solly baby. Now this one I haven't used as much. I think I don't. I haven't used this kind of wrap at all with Betty. Um, this one I did use with Ruby. This color I think was called Ruby. Um, I had emailed Solly about finding this specific color because they had taken it off of their website. It was like a one of their past seasons, and they dug one out of the warehouse for me, which I thought was so cool. But. Um, Anyway, I will insert, obviously, while I'm talking here, I've been showing you guys how I put this on. Uh, they're not as versatile as other carriers, simply because there's really, really only one way you can wear them safely. Um, but they are nice that they fit a range of sizes, so it's very likely that you, this carrier will fit you and your spouse, your partner, um, grandparents, aunts, uncles, Learning to tie these kinds of wraps um, can take a little getting used to. It's not difficult, 
but it can be unwieldy because it is a very long expanse <laughs> of fabric. Um, so it can it can take a little getting used to tying this. You know, if you're trying to put it on in the parking lot somewhere, your ends might, you know, tails might get dirty. Um, I would often, when I used these kinds of wraps more frequently, I would wrap myself before I left the house um, because it's, you know, it's not bulky. There's no buckles. There's nothing uncomfortable or, you know, anything like that. And it's not going to interfere with your seat belt or anything like that. So I would often wrap before I left the house and then you can just pop baby in and out of the carrier um, as you're running errands or whatever it is that you're, you're doing. So this is a great choice, especially for smaller babies. Me personally, I never really cared for stretchy wraps past about 15 pounds. Um, I just don't feel that they have enough support to be comfortable for more than a few minutes of wear beyond that point. I did not ever really get into woven wraps, which are um, this kind of material here, uh, non-stretchy woven cotton or linen or, or other things. Um, it's kind of a whole different animal with tying those on. They're beautiful. They're super versatile. They work really well for all ages and stages. I just never really got into wearing those. So um, for comfort and for snuggleability with especially newborns, the first three months, a stretchy wrap is a great choice. Now, my next favorite after that, so, well, these are kind of ranking from like third place, second place, first place into types of carriers that I prefer. So that's number three. It's still really great. I prefer it over other styles of carriers that I've used, but my number two favorite kind of carrier is going to be a ring sling. And I have a couple here to show you. Um, this is a wild bird. This is a, is this, I think this is a hundred percent linen. Uh, most of their slings are, they have just beautiful, beautiful colors. They come out with new patterns seasonally. Um, they have different weaves, chambrays and, and, single linen and double linen, you can find something that you will love with Wild Bird, uh, for sure. Wild Birds have the gathered shoulder, so all the material kind of gathers up and sits on your shoulder like so. This carrier, I actually had this one made. Um, I purchased a remnant of a sling, so this, or a wrap piece. So this at one point was a part of a, a longer wrap, um, like I mentioned before, the woven style wraps. So I purchased this wrap piece and had it converted into a ring sling. And this one is by far my favorite. It's got a um, pleated shoulder, um, so it's a little less bulky on the shoulder than the gathered style. Um, unfortunately, the person who did this conversion is no longer doing wrap conversions, and I think actually she's no longer selling ring slings at all. I think, I think she closed her business at the end of last year or is closing it at the end of this year. Um, Sleeping Baby Productions. So she does just marvelous work, marvelous work. And I've been so thrilled with this. I've used this since Jasper. Um, so I've used this sling through, yeah, Jasper, Hazel, Ruby, and Betty, four kids. And it's just perfect. It's just perfect. It's a great um, comfortable, easy on, you just kind of throw it on, tuck baby in and go once you get the hang of using a ring sling. They, I think, are actually even a little bit harder to get used to using and kind of figure out than the wraps, uh, just because figuring out where to position the rings on your shoulder and how to get a good seat for baby and how to tighten the rails, you know, top rail, bottom rail, top, tight in the middle to keep baby supported. Um, there's definitely a learning curve there. If, if you can stick with it <laughs> and practice, even if you just throw them in a couple times a day and just practice in front of a mirror, um, I think you'll find that um, ring slings are just so versatile, so awesome. You can use them from newborn all the way up through toddler, especially if you have like a double layer linen or a heavier weight cotton, they're super supportive. Uh, I just love how easy they are, how quick they are, how many beautiful styles and patterns and colors you can find them in if you're the kind of person who, you know, likes collecting beautiful things that you can use with your baby. Um, I have a handful of ring slings because I do use them and I love them. And I just think that they're, um, they're just such a great 
simple way to keep your baby close to you. But like I said, there is a bit of a learning curve um, as far as wearing them. But this one, like I said, is a, was a custom made one. Um, this is the Wild Bird. They have tons of different options. I probably should have brought in a couple others to show you, but um, plain linen colors, stripes, uh, patterns, chambrays, you know, double, double linen, um, so they're better for toddlers. I really have been happy with uh, the Wild Birds that I have purchased. And that is another thing that I'll mention here real quick, is if you can find a baby wearing library, like a baby wearing group near you, it can be a really great way to try out different styles, especially of this next kind of carrier that I'm gonna show you because they all fit. Now the wraps and the slings, that's just a matter of practice and getting used to them. And maybe if you're picky about shoulder style, you might want to try to find one. I haven't really been able to find anybody who does a shoulder style other than gathered, like the wild bird, um, but you could also make your own. I won't get into all that. Anyway, move on, move on, Ashley. Um, this next style that I'm gonna show you is my number one favorite way to wear babies simply because of ease of use. However, this kind of carrier comes in so many, so many different people make this kind of carrier and they all fit a little bit differently. Uh, so if you're a long torso, short torso, broad shouldered, broader hips, if you're, um, you know, if you're plus size, if you're straight size, there's so many different kinds of carriers in this genre. Um, if you can find a baby wearing library or friends who have different styles that you can try on to see what's gonna be comfortable for you because they're not inexpensive. Um, depending on the brand that you buy. But anyway, soft structured carriers, buckle carriers are probably my top favorite. And this one here has been through many a child. It's totally stained and um, I don't care. It's beautiful, I love it so much. <laughs> this is my Lenny Lamb. And I will link to Lenny Lamb. They are a European company, but you can, they're, they're affordable um, and they ship here to the US and it's not astronomical. So anyway, what I love about this one is that the straps in the back can either be like backpack style or you can cross them over and do a crisscross in the back, which I find to be more supportive um, for your back when you're wearing your baby. But you can also use buckle carriers like this to wear baby on your back, um, to wear baby on your hip. Uh, I just really love the ease of use, how quick these are to throw on. I mean, you just buckle around your waist, throw the baby in, buckle the straps, and you're good to go. Um, yeah, They're, these are great for wearing for long periods of time. The stretchy wrap, I don't feel like is great for extended wear unless you're wearing it with a tiny baby. A ring sling you can get more wear out of. It is more supportive, but you're only carrying the weight really on one shoulder and kind of that other hip. Um, so it can get uncomfortable after a while. And if you're like me, you can only carry your baby on one side. Uh, it's not comfortable to do it the other way. I put the rings on my right shoulder and wear her on my left side uh, because even though it restricts the movement of my shoulder a little bit, I still have my dominant hand free <laughs> to do things that I need to do. So uh, I don't feel like I get quite as long of a wear time with the sling as I do with a buckle carrier. In the buckle carrier arena is my all-time favorite baby carrier of all time, the Department of Redundancy Department. Um, I discovered this carrier when Ruby was, uh, gosh, how old was she? Um, was she a year old? Maybe not quite. She was... I don't remember. Okay, it doesn't matter. It's not important. Um, this is my one that I use all the time, so it's got little stains on it and it kind of needs a bath, but that's okay. This is the Ergo Baby Embrace Carrier. This is their newborn to, I believe it's 25 pounds. Um, this is perfection to me. It is stretchy and so soft. Um, it's made of like a stretchy jersey material. It hugs your baby in so close so I don't know if you can see here 
where the buckles come from on the inside so that when you have a smaller baby in in the carrier they're like snug up against that and you just it's so easy to wear a newborn you just roll the waistband there's no inserts there's no adding pieces there's no you know rolling up a, a blanket or a towel and tucking it under their bum um it's got the padded head and neck support here the straps cross in the back like that for added support you cannot use this back carry because it is slightly stretchy so it wouldn't really be safe um, to back carry but it will absolutely carry you through your baby's first year unless your baby is just an absolute tank <laughs> and in that case you might not get a full year's worth out of this carrier but i have it in two colors this is the carrier that i gift to everyone i know who's having a baby because it's fast it's easy to put on by yourself um it's just to me this is just like the perfect carrier if if i could only buy one carrier for the first year it would be this it would be this i love my ring slings so much but this would be the one you're my girl <laughs> it's my girl right here uh anyway so this is the ergo baby embrace carrier i absolutely adore it i can't recommend it enough no this video is not sponsored but ergo i mean i'm open <laughs> <laughs> to collaborating with you. I love your carriers so much. Um, I've had a few Ergo Baby carriers in my day. The Galaxy, if you ha have kids who are older than like eight, you probably remember the Galaxy carrier. It was gray and it had embroidered stars on it. It was so pretty. Um, I think I, I gifted that to somebody who was in need of a carrier when one of my babies had outgrown it. I tend to do that. I tend to, <laughs> to pass things on instead of hold on to them, but that's good because other people can get use out of things instead of them sitting in my closet anyway. So that's it, my friend. That is my roundup of my favorite ba baby carriers. I love the wraps for newborns. Love the ring sling for its versatility and it's quick pop it off and on. Um, and I love the buckle carriers because they're so simple to use. They're so supportive. You can get so much, there's so many more minutes or hours even of wear time out of them versus some of the other carriers I feel. Now just know that this is only three types of carriers and there are a lot more <laughs> out there than, than these three that are my favorite. Um, like I said, I've tried a lot of different styles and these are just the ones that I've come to as my preference. Uh, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you found this helpful in some way. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Be blessed, be a blessing, and until I talk to you next week, remember that you are very, very loved. <laughs>